I greet you this blessed Saturday morning, my brothers and sisters, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Hear us, O Lord, for your mercy is great. We will exalt you, O God, our Saviour, and praise your name for ever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise him, and highly exalt him for ever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let the people of God glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O priests and the servants of the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of the righteous. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, you holy and humble of heart. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord. Reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love for you and one another through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, the lover of unity and author of peace, to know you is eternal life, to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your servants, from all assaults of the enemy, that we may trust in your defense and not fear the power of any adversary through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Word of God, written in the 10th chapter of the Gospel according to St. Matthew beginning at the 29th verse. Jesus said, 
are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. And even the hairs of your head are all counted. So do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We have come to the close of another week. A week with its interesting twists and turns, some familiar words, as you would recall. Some twists and some turns. For each day we were awakened with some other information some new information, whether it be locally or internationally. Each day, we, wake, we were able to wake up. But I must pause at this point to say this. Each day, we were able to wake up. And for this, we ought to be thankful that we can say on this wonderful Saturday that during the past week, each day, we were able to wake up. And yes, we were able to wake up, or should I say we were awakened, for God was in control. We were able to sleep in him, rest in him, and to wake up in him. So let's get back to the point that we were awakened each day to new information, sometimes different information, sometimes information not very pleasant at all. Yet. In some familiar words again from me, we were able to make it to this Saturday. We were able to see and experience the passing of another week. Our scripture reading reminds us that all this is possible because of God. For here in this particular small passage from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, we hear our Lord Jesus inviting his disciples and his people not to fear. And he said, are not two sparrows sold for a penny? You see, my brothers and sisters, back in Jesus' time, a sparrow would have been a small bird. I cannot be very certain that it is the same sparrow that we see around our yards, or around our various points, parks, etc. But a sparrow was a small bird, says one Bible commentator, and it was a small bird eaten by the poor. That is not of us, I don't think. The writer went on to make the point that the sparrow was the cheapest of the meat one could buy in the market. So this sparrow, the smallest bird, the cheapest of meat, says the Bible commentator, and here's Jesus saying, look at that. Look at that bird, that small, cheap bird, if you will, has value in my sight. That not one of them will fall to the ground. And the writer of this passage, or should I say, the interpreter, this Bible commentator, 
says that fall to the ground describes its death. So in other words, if we go along with the interpretation of this particular Bible commentator, we're saying here that this cheap meat bird will not even die without God knowing it. The basic point here is that our Lord Jesus wants us to understand that if such a bird is in his purview, if such a bird is under his watchful eye and care, if such a bird can fall to the ground without God neglecting to know, that's the roundabout way of saying, if God can see and know and recognize that this little cheap meat bird can meet its death, even its death, without his certain knowledge. Our Lord Jesus is saying, what about you? And what about me? If God cares about the sparrow, my brothers and sisters, why not make ourselves, convince ourselves, or be convinced through this word this morning that God cares about us human beings? And that is why our Lord Jesus, moving from the sparrows, was able to say, and even the hairs of your head are all counted. The same point. God cares about us. So as we look back on this week, with all that it stirred up, let us remember that we are still standing before God. The God who loves us. The God who cares about us. The God who will see us through. Therefore, I'm mindful of the words of the hymn from our CPWI hymnal, our blue book as we call it, the hymn 462. 462. Be not dismayed, whate'er betide, God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide, God will take care of you. And hear the refrain, God will take care of you through every day or all the way. He will take care of you. God will take care of you. And then here, verse 4, no matter what may be the test, God will take care of you. Lean weary one upon his breast. God will take care of you. The coronavirus, COVID-19, is a test. No matter what may be the test, coronavirus, COVID-19, God will take care of you. Through every day or all the way in this curfew, God will take care of you. Though we have to practice social distancing or physical distancing, God will take care of you. Though some must isolate, God will take care of you. Though some may have to be quarantined, 
God will take care of you. No matter what may be the test, whatever we have to go through during this period, God will take care of you. Let us pray. Let us pray for the presence of Christ. Come to us, Lord Christ, in your understanding love, when all around us seems dark and uncertain, and when our faith is low and we cannot feel you near, and we find it hard to pray. Come to us then, dear Lord, as you came to your disciples in the darkest hour of the night, and let the light of your presence dispel our fears, renew our trust, and bring peace to our hearts for your tender mercy's sake. Amen. God of goodness and love, in whom we can trust in every hour of need, have mercy on all who are faced with fear and distress through the coronavirus disease. We ask that help may be given to them very speedily and that this emergency may be turned into an opportunity to strengthen the bonds of love and service which bind men and women and nations together. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Unto God's most gracious care, mercy, and protection, I do now commit you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace today and forevermore. Amen. I am your priest and pastor, Father Vaughn Watson, wishing you a very wonderful day with lots, lots of love. Bless you.